Halo Infinite might be playable in July's event that, by the way, has just been finally announced with dates and more information than ever before, and at the very least, Halo Infinite gameplay is going to be revealed at least to watch in just weeks. So before we get into it, smash that like button blue, as likes always help boost my videos up the search results and gets it out there to other Halo fans. Thanks so much, let's jump into it. Halo Infinite news is pouring out almost every single day, and it is almost hard to catch up with. But what I want to focus on today is, is Halo Infinite gameplay is coming out soon. In fact, we might actually be playing the game by the end of the month, and this is just absolutely insane. So so nothing is in stone except for the fact that we know that Halo Infinite is going to get a reveal later this month. But you can count on a trailer, you can count on some cinematics and cutscene, and undoubtedly gameplay. But along with all those things, we might actually get a playable demo exclusively on our Xbox Ones. So up until now, we have thought of July as the July event. Sometime this month, there was going to be a reveal. And until lately, we really hadn't known exactly when the event was going to happen. You know, with the canceled E3 2020 event, Microsoft and other companies have had to figure out a way to create a big epic event that will attract attention across the world in a way without having E3 to kind of be there uh, already established. So Microsoft has created the event called the Summer Game Fest demo event and it is coming July 21st on a Tuesday and will be going on until July 27th landing on a Monday. Now, I have overestimated what we would get from 343 quite a few times in the past before. Like, we expected news to be in May, and we got a bunch of third-party games, and I suggested, well, most likely June, right? Nothing in June. But unlike those times before, we actually got a confirmation about a month ago that this event would have a Halo Infinite reveal, and that, by the way, probably include gameplay and a campaign demo in a video form, if not also a demo form. Like, we can actually play Play ourselves, but also, you know, a cutscene, a trailer, a story reveal, things like that. Now, it might seem a little bit insane to say that me and you will be playing Halo Infinite multiplayer or a little campaign demo in about 20 to 23 days, right? That sounds crazy. Even, you know, we, we haven't even seen a gameplay, period, and we're going to be playing it in a couple weeks here. But think about this, all right? This is the time for Halo Infinite to shine, for the Xbox Series X to be advertised to millions. And not only that, E3 typically has lots of gameplay demos. And since E3 was canceled, and this is technically Microsoft's take on E3, um, well, actually at E3, it attendees could have waited in line and got a chance to play demos of games that were in development but were not out, right? And this was actually pretty common with Halo 2 in the past, like Halo 4, Halo 5, Halo Wars 2. So I think that Halo Infinite if E3 2020 had it been canceled, would have been playable because honestly, on the show floor, that is totally freaking likely. So I don't think it's outworldly that a demo will be accessible to everyone here in the near future. But since there's no exhibit or game floor or E3 never happened, I think that Xbox, as they confirmed in this post, bringing 60 brand new game demos, games that haven't been released yet, right? to actually be playable at home on your Xbox One for free and will be accessible via the dashboard. Again, I think all of this is pretty unlikely and yet here we are, but with a Halo Infinite demo, I think we would finally get a sense of what game we're actually buying and investing into and right around now would be a good time for 343 to make any updates or changes to the multiplayer, uh, taking in that feedback from the community. So. Yeah, and keep in mind, we already know that there are flights that have been confirmed for Halo Infinite a long time ago, although we don't know when, and later this month might actually be the win. <laughs> so they lay out a number of bullet points, things that we should probably think about before going into this event. And the first bullet point talks about how these game demos are not typical. And I would say none of this is typical. It's pretty bizarre. And I, I can't even believe that, that this is happening. But they say usually in demos and the Xbox game channel are created after the game is completed or nearly completed and represent the final version. But many of these game demos are early and some are for games that won't be out for a long time. They also remind us they've never done this before. So we, the public, will be able to play these games for free before release for a limited time for a few days 
and some of these game releases are not going to be nearly done, right? So it's just something we should acknowledge that they are deeply work in progress and that'll include Halo if it's included into this bunch of game demos. And although we have no solid confirmation, I would say it is fairly likely for Halo Infinite to be included in this event of 60 games. And they even said by the end of it that up to 75 to 100 games will be here when the dust settles. And they will announce a full list tier closer to July 21st which is the beginning of the event. That means that they are going to post a long list of all the games that are going to be present. And if Halo is there, then freaking awesome. If it's not, it's not the end of the world, but it would be really nice to play Halo Infinite already, right? In response to Real Life Spartan sharing a reaction to the 2019 trailer last year, Sketch, a community manager at 343, reacted with, I'm ready, at least indicating a reveal, which again, has already been confirmed on Halo Waypoint but I'm getting more hyped when I see stuff like this, and it's pushing me towards a potential gameplay event. Sketch also responded to Kevin Cool asking when he should be ready. Some of us need to take that day off from work. In which Sketch responded, It's not my news to share, but stay tuned. Our Xbox friends will surely let you know in time to plan accordingly. So in the past, it's been about seven days beforehand they announced the event. At least that's what happened in the May 2020 event. But I suspect sometime around mid-July, around July 14th, 13th, maybe 15th, we will get some solid information about Halo's reveal date. Not just a potential beta, which would be great, but ultimately, I think we would all settle for at least seeing it in video form and also getting a campaign reveal and a trailer and a cutscene and some kind of understanding as to what is happening in modern Halo lore because quite frankly we don't have much of an idea. We we have some we have some information but we don't really know the plot. However, the exact date that we will probably get Halo Infinite news and if we get a beta, I expect that right at the end of the announcement, it'll say that the beta or the flight is actually accessible right now and downloadable on your Xbox One, which should, you know, create a massive flux of hype and viralness. I think that will actually end up being on July 23rd. So... I would say clear your calendar for July 23rd. That will probably be the date that the game is accessible. Not only do rumors back this up, but also just the arrangement of the event itself seems to be pointing everywhere. July 23rd is going to be the day to remember <laughs> for Halo news and uh, Halo hype. Guys, be sure to smash that like button blue if you haven't already and help boost this video up the YouTube algorithm. This news is super exciting and I'm actually backed up with a lot of other Halo news and I am trying to get this stuff out to you guys as soon as possible. But I really wanted to make a standalone video just talking about this event because it is something we've been waiting so long for and with the Xbox Series X hype with Halo Infinite hype already being confirmed at this reveal then you know it, it, it's going to be big this is final E3 for Halo Infinite a game that's been in development for five years mind you so I hope you subscribe and join me on the journey and I'll catch you guys in the next one very very soon lots of news to unpack I'll see you guys soon